Good morning, everybody. It is Saturday, September 22nd, 2018. Good morning, Miss Jen. Good morning, Jessica. <clears throat> nice to see all of you. It is Saturday morning after a fun night of baking and raising a little bit of money for Alzheimer's research, which I think is a very good thing. And if you're familiar with Alzheimer's, well, that's not a good thing right? Is it? Because it means it's probably touched your life in some way. Hi, Vanessa. Hi, uh, hi, Sarah. Hey, Sean. It's probably touched your life in some way. And uh, we know that Alzheimer's is a disease. It's a progressive disease that takes the mind. It takes the memory. At the end, it takes the ability to function. And there's families with it have to deal with the reality of taking care of someone who doesn't even recognize them anymore. And it's, it's disheartening in the extreme. And it's probably a disease. Hi, Tracy. Hi, Debbie. It's probably a disease of all of them out there that probably takes one of the heaviest psychological tolls on caregivers and families. Therefore, it's something that I believe in other people on my chats and other people hi, that I've met. Hi, Anna. Hi, Dee. Good morning to you, sweetie. Lori Jean, good morning. Bunny, that other people in the communities, the drama community, the boy, have been affected and deal with this every day. It doesn't get, you know... It, it's it's like one of those things in a parade of human illnesses and diseases. Hi, Catherine. <clears throat> Hi, Catherine. Good morning. Good morning to you and David. In the in the uh, scheme of things, diseases come Good along. Morning, Harvey. Diseases come along. They get recognized. They get a they get a burst of publicity, and then they kind of sort of have to take their they have to fight for recognition and funding. And it's sometimes very difficult, you know, because you'll have a celebrity like a Michael J. Fox will stand up for Parkinson's disease and it'll yeah. give a big burst of money for that. And that's a good thing. So it's easy when a celebrity gets something. Way back in the yeah. 1980s with uh, Michael Milken and the prostate uh, cancer and the foundations for dealing with prostate cancer. It really brought that out. Hello, Loretta. Good morning to you, honey. Good morning, Pam. How are you doing, sweetheart? And I can see Pam on the side chatting. Pam, Hi, Pam. when I put my uh, chat settings on live chat as opposed to top chat, then I can see you just fine. If I have it on top chat, then for some reason, and this is the same way I go into your chat, it, tre it treats it like it's spam, I guess, because I have such a big mouth when... <laughs> Jan will tell you my fingers are flying over the keyboard. <laughs> all, all that stuff. Well, this is uh, the pie turned out to be uh, something of real beauty. As you Hi, can Debbie, see. Davis. It has Six the chocolate, chocolate bottom to it. It has the toasted pecans. And it has the drizzled chocolate on whipped cream, homemade whipped cream with a chocolate... Uh, like a jello filling, but a chocolate pudding. Home, you didn't use any pudding, and then it has the chocolate graham cracker base. Yeah, I'd like to ship one of these down to the porch. That's for darn sure. But Ricky, Ricky'd run off and take it behind the old house and eat the damn pot. That's the problem with that. <laughs> Want a bite? I love Mississippi mud pie. Well, you know, I'm going to let you in a little secret. Pies are like my favorite thing. When we were growing up, we didn't have a hell of a lot of money. So I think every day my mom would just uh, would make or my grandmother would just make up a pie and slap it on the table the next day. Usually, and you all probably never heard of it before, a Jeff Dave, Jefferson Davis pie. It's what we used to call a chess pie. And you really have to kind of be from the South to understand or to recognize what an important thing pie is to uh, people down South. Harvey says, did you get enough sleep? Good morning, Koopy. Did you get enough Hi, sleep? Dana. I guess I was in bed about uh, um, 
four thirty or so and got up about uh, seven thirty. So I'm good. Nice to see you, V Mac. Good morning to you. <clears throat> Raised in the Southwest Virginia coal fields. All right, so you understand. Yeah, thank you. As Pam said, uh, congratulations, Missy Jen, on doing better. That's very sweet of you. Thank you. Uh, Pam and Ricky, too. Side chat slot, how are you today? Nice to see you. So, was this a difficult pie to make on a scale of one to ten? It's about a four. Yes. It's Koopa, Koopa. Yeah, Koopa's Koopa. there. Cooper's there, so I was glad he bailed and got some sleep last night because he's been uh, he's been working his hiney off lately, and I know this to be a fact. So uh, this is not a this is not a difficult. Uh, am I okay? Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, I'm good. Just uh, I don't know. I think I'm okay today. Just been running around, whirling around, moving the computer stuff and everything back to this. <laughs> to this location here <laughs> and uh, we got Harvey De Niro Staples came on and broke his uh his panel cherry for the first time uh last night which was Thank really you, nice Chicago. that's it 204 yeah she got oh man you can't yeah it's terrible Pam Pam deals with uh lupus and uh it's yeah awful. that's no fun yeah, so I think we'll target that. We'll ask uh, we'll ask Pam what her favorite uh, what her favorite pie or cake is or cookie, and we'll make that. Now, one of the things that people do on the bottom of YouTube, of course, is they uh, they chimp out, right? Hi, Fitz. Hey, Fitz, how you doing? Nice to see you today. They chimp out, right? <laughs> So I'm going to develop a recipe. I'm going to develop a new cookie called the chocolate chimp out cookie. <laughs> We're going to start serving that up. Yeah, it was great to have you on. So uh, it, the uh, pie turned out fantastic. We're going to cut that up in a bit. So, uh, Coop's like, Pam, I'll be happy to carry you. Yeah, I got my eye on you, Cooper. Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> so how's everybody out there today? Any, anybody doing anything? Uh, anything doing Georgia peach pie? Yeah, they got good peaches in Georgia. I've been around Georgia, Savannah, up country, uh, Waverly Hall, down there. Uh, Chicago said I fell asleep during the chat. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't know. Just the Energizer Bunny, Chicago, I guess. It's something that Missy Jen deals with, with tossing and turning. Uh, <laughs> right. Yeah, we're the opposite. I need lots of sleep and rest. And she just needs three hours, and then she's like bouncing around. Good morning, Oz. Nice to see you. Lynn Russell, nice to see you, too. Joey, I don't see how you'll be able to not finish that pie today. And thank you, Joe. Nice Hi, to see Joe. you. Joey. Oh, Sorry. no boom, boom room today for Pam. Oh, my. Oh, my. She'll store it up. Uh, Dave is now a snitch police informant. Well, you know, Dave's got to run his own show. Mark's, Mark's Ark Aquarium. Nice to see you. Good morning to you. I'll show this again. Oh, you love peaches. So we'll make Pam's favorite pie or cake. And we'll, we'll, uh, what we'll do is we'll raise money for lupus. Huh? How about that? Because we have a few people. We have yes. mom, of, mom of three boys who deals with that. There's quite a few people in the community that uh, morning jack me off, jack me off, and good morning to you. So there's quite a few people that uh, deal with, uh, uh, yeah, Pam. They, they developed a kitty cat club, which is the lady's answer to the boom boom room. So I think that's pretty funny. I guess that's a room they get boys to do bad things in there. I don't know. I've never been, uh, I've never, neither Missy Jen, yeah, the Kitty Cat Club. Neither Missy Jen nor I have ever been to the Boom Boom. I never so. even heard of a Boom Boom <laughs> Club until <laughs> yesterday. <clears throat> and then uh, like I did get some details on that and some information on it yesterday. And, it's more or less just a good morning, Zoe, my Baltimore gal. Nice to see get you. together of some friends that go crazy a little bit. Yeah, boom boom room. Now, Pam, you better make sure Ricky ain't sitting on that panel in that boom boom room. All right, I'm just saying. <laughs> That's for damn sure. 
Yeah, I think of the uh, kid. What do we call that? What is it? The kitty. I keep getting the name wrong. The kitty cat club. The kitty cat club. What the hell is that? In a sense, we used to have our own boom boom room. Oh, kitty cat club. That's back, it. I got back it. Back in the days. Yeah, our own boom boom room. Way my, back. My name was like just private chats. That was kind of a, like what what they consider a boom boom room. Yeah, I mean, mm -hmm. just before, friends getting together and just kind of getting a little bit crazy. Yeah, before you, but, uh, you know, a few, few people don't know, and I, hi, free samples, nice to see you, sweetie. Before YouTube would put Hangouts on the YouTube side, they used to just be strictly on the Google side. <laughs> right. And when that <laughs> Hangout was done, it disappeared into thin air. Right. That was it. And nobody recorded anything, everything was taken seriously private by each party and we could trust each other <clears throat> which is absolute key and you could let loose and you know yeah good morning this girl's journey nice to see you. sean says it just sounds so creepy <laughs> <laughs> and that's basically what was explained yesterday <laughs> that's what a boom boom room oh is. my so, goodness carlos come on really oh so geez. actually no big deal Carlos, <laughs> Chick Eastwater out there. Good morning, Nocturnal Denison. Nice to see you. Tracy mm -hmm. said it's colder. Uh, Tracy, you're in Chicago. What was the morning low out there today? Really? You made Elvis's day, I guess. I always think whatever floats people's boat. If there's a group of people that can trust each other and they have a private thing going on, why not? You know, Pam said it's 92. Well, down in uh, northern Georgia there on the Tennessee border. Yeah, so I was uh, telling Pam about some of the roots of uh, my family up in uh, Pigeon Forge in Harlan County, Kentucky, and Asheville, North Carolina. I always thought I would be retiring in Maggie Valley. <clears throat> Fitz, say, can I get an invite to the Kitty Clap Cap Club, Church of the Swinging Unicorn? <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's funny. We had a hundred mile an hour. Uh, wow, Scottish. I'm a stupid question today. Uh, are you in Scotland? And good morning, Jordan Blue. Good morning, Mark. Like thirty Susie. degrees. Wow, the twenty second of September. Thirty degrees. Where <laughs> are you, Mark? Asheville's just a beautiful town. You go out to uh, the uh, big estate out there, and uh, Asheville's just a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful city. Oh, Glasgow, okay. All right. I'd love to have. I'd love to hear Scottish's voice Glasgow. on channel. Uh, Carlo says, "Rose, do you like country fried steak?" And he's, "Why the hell did they put sausage in the gravy?" Look, Carlos, I'm, you know. <laughs> Carlos has just betrayed himself as not being from the South. So <laughs> we put damn gravy on. We put damn gravy on everything. My niece is pastry chef at the Biltmore. Oh, outstanding! See, the Biltmore is absolutely beautiful over there. It's such a high-end, beautiful place. The whole town of Asheville is beautiful. You get into the uh, hills and, and things. Just a, it's a wonderful, wonderful town. Good morning, Susie. Nice to see you. Everybody needs some unicorn savage. We uh, magic. We love our Susie Tracy plans. Good morning to you, honey. Hope you're doing well. Uh, Karen and Nanarella, good to see you. Starting to get uh, all our fall colors now. Karen, you're up in the uh, upper Midwest, correct? Yeah, shoot the shits like I love pans like I love gravy. Hell yeah. yeah. Missy Jen, that's one of your favorite breakfasts is biscuits and gravy. Yeah, yeah, but I'm trying to resist because it all sticks right here and it's uh <laughs> there you go, buddy cha cha, and I'm one of them. <laughs> if you have some fried <laughs> Couple of fried eggs uh, and Chalker, a couple of strips uh, of bacon with that. Morning, mm. Chalker. Chalker. Uh, yum, yum. Pam, maybe you could tell uh, tell Carlos why you put sausage in uh, in the gravy. Yeah, I nearly have yeah, a clam. Sausage, sausage do. does belong in the gravy. Yeah. I think it does. Sausage, biscuits, Absolutely and gravy. That you crumble that up. Bunny Cha Cha, I'm happy to be in there. Yes. 
500 miles from Dave, yeah. Just kidding, am I unicorn show? Well, I'm going to tell you what. I can't wait to get up to uh, North and South Dakota up there and look around the Dakotas. And uh, yeah, that's it. There's your answer, Carlos, tastes because good. it tastes good. That's right. All right. Ask a silly question. <laughs> Isn't that funny? I'm going to tell you what. Well, I'm going to go uh, just for you who showed up on the stream. We raised a little money for Alzheimer's research last night and made mm, a yeah. beautiful uh, Mississippi mud pie with a chocolate graham cracker bottom, a uh, chocolate pudding-like filling, whipped cream, our own whipped cream we made up, sprinkled, drizzled that with uh, chocolate and put um, some toasted pecan nuts on there. Here we go. So I'm going to be right back. I'm going to. Uh, get this ready to cut this first piece take it into the kitchen use the right knife yeah, I, right had a, uh, I had an aunt in New Jersey that got Alzheimer's she was uh, driving to the store and that's how they found out she was driving to the store and uh, she couldn't find her way home anymore so, got bad really fast, and she actually passed away really rapidly, too. It uh, seems like my family, there were 14 children. There were, let's see, there was one aunt that had MS and passed away. One aunt had the Alzheimer's and passed away. And uh, I got the MS. So I go a lot on my mom, mom's side's family. <clears throat> so. Yeah. And then when I actually initially had the MS, I, I, uh, and I started researching it, I stumbled upon somebody with lupus and started following somebody with lupus and they were getting the transplant, the uh, stem cell transplant. That was pretty interesting. Okay, we got our first piece of uh, pie that we've cut for uh, cut for the Missy here. You can see on the bottom it has has a layer of uh, chocolate graham crackers on it. Then the pudding like filling, mm -hmm. and then the whipped cream topping, and then the uh, pecans and the drizzled chocolate. So there we go, Jen. There's a, and you see how nicely that slice uh, slices up too. Serves very well. So. Uh, here you go, Jen. Enjoy. Thank you, as again. All right. We'll let her get the first bite. It started in 2000, 2011 uh, in February. I went blind in one eye. That was my first symptom. We've made a lot of good things here. Uh, of course, yes. Yeah, I'm just let you taste it first. So, ladies first, right? <laughs> I Let her have a, have a. I'm a beast. And George's like Missy Jen can't eat that big old piece. <laughs> All right, mm. <laughs> to me, if you're a if you're a chocolate fanatic, now remember Crunchy, you can all crispy, very chocolatey. If you're a person that loves mm. chocolate, you could even amp this up. To, you could even take this up to the top. And you could take that chocolate whip. We could take that whipped cream we made up. We bought some uh, uh, a pint of, uh, like caramel pint of heavy whipping cream and made up our own whipped cream topping, far superior to Cool Whip or something like that. And you could actually take some Hershey's cocoa powder 
after you've got it whipped. That's really you add that in, got that. And you would have a chocolate whipped cream on top of chocolate pudding on top of a Soft chocolate cream. Crust. Yeah. Now the recipe is down, Chicago. It's in the description box of the video. Tucker requested Rosie, if you're gonna do on the bottom, yeah. And uh, Tucker made a good suggestion. If you're going to do these baking videos, put the recipe mm -hmm. down in the description box. So I have a link down there that you can actually get that recipe on a scale of one to ten. This is about a four to make in the kitchen. But uh, I know Missy mm -hmm. Jen, her favorite flavor is chocolate. She absolutely That's loves really it. delicious. Chocolate. Mm -hmm. It's not. Yeah, I wouldn't delicious. recommend it on a low calorie diet. You said better than Denny's chocolate it's pie. It's got nuts in it, right? Nuts. You know, yeah, it's got, it's got pecans in the crust. We actually, when we took the graham crackers, chocolate graham crackers, we took a stick of butter, put it in with the chocolate graham crackers, then put some pecans in, ran it through the food processor to combine all that, added a slight bit of uh, milk to bring it all together and then made the crust with that. So is it better than Denny's? I think so because Denny's is institutional pies, whereas this is this has no artificial uh, ingredients in it at all. So that's a really good uh, thing. Oh, I know, Susie, I know. I'm gonna go cut myself a piece here. Strawberries, whipped cream, chocolate sauce, cold cuts. <laughs> <laughs> So the nice thing too is we uh, raised a few dollars, not me, but you guys for Alzheimer's uh, research last night. So thank you. Anybody did hit that link. That link is still up in that last night's uh, hangout. And if you're so inclined to give five, as Elvis would say, what is it, five, 10, 15, 50, 20, 50, 50, whatever you can give. And yeah. that anything you can give counts. <laughs> I'm going to cut myself a piece, guys. I'll be right back. Huh? Yeah, this is really delicious. And uh, Pam, when I get down to Georgia, we'll just whip up one of these damn things in the kitchen, huh? Just tell Ricky, stay the hell out. There you go. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Nice to see you. Yeah, man. Hmm? Yeah, man. I kept that hangout going until you popped in in the morning there. Yeah, man, one of the legends of the Ford Motor Company assembly plant there. D says, I grew up in the Mississippi uh, River. Yeah, it's a muddy chocolate mess, isn't it, D? Okay, uh, Debbie, we're going to see about uh, making something. Now, I did promise you all going to hate me on this, but Mama Bear, you know, it asked for that angel food cake with the cherry and the icing uh, on top with the cherries on top, finishing it off. So. We took a vote. Good morning, Joseph Kane. Nice to see you. Hi, I think, John. I think next week we'll be making that. Good morning, Joseph Kane. Nice to see you. Hope you got my message. We enjoyed your uh, DVD that you uh, sent up. Yeah. That's an amazingly clean place, isn't it, Jen? <clears throat> really awesome, especially that little prison, prison thing. That was really awesome in the uh, cemetery. Mr. Blair, if you check my... Uh, uh, just put pumpkin in my search box. You'll see we've made pumpkin cheese pie. Okay, we'll be making a pumpkin pie as we get into November. Make it better than sex cake. Yeah, that sounds pretty good, D. Although it does make one wonder what's better. I don't know. I'll have to check in the boom boom room on that in the kitty cat club. Yeah, it turned out good. Hey, hey, Delicia, nice to see you. Yeah, this would be perfect for the boom boom room. You could go all wild with it. Let loose, as they say. I go boom, boom, boom. Na, 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 na. And it slices up really beautifully. Here's a really clean cut that allows you to see the uh, graham cracker base, the chocolate pudding-like filling, and then the uh, whipped cream topping on that. With the, uh, we roasted the pecans, put them in with a little butter, sugar, <laughs> and salt. 
Jordan. I done inhaled that yeah, part. I inhaled that part, girl. Missy Janet. Let me tell you, when I eat, I'm not playing around. That's for sure. Missy Jan doesn't mess around when it comes to pie. Thank you, Mark. Nice to see you. Mark Ark Aquariums. Nice to see you. Mark. I ain't got no time to waste. Mm -hmm. I'm on a mission. I'm sorry, Joe. <laughs> Joe came like, what's with the Joseph? Sorry, Joe. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, it's really good. And thank Harvey. Harvey came on last night. Harvey De Niro Staples from the UK broke his uh, cherry. Yeah, it turned out really good. Nocturnal Zen is, and I think it did. I'd have no hesitation to serve this at the highest end. Uh, you know, Mississippi Tea Room or something in Natchez, Mississippi for the tours coming through. You know, this stuff would fly off the menu down south and, uh, you know, anywhere along the Mississippi River. Yeah. So. We love you too, Susie. Yeah, I know with pork roll and scrap was, uh, yeah, man, we had, uh, you know, hogs, ass, and hominy. Okay, Carlos, take it easy. And Carlos, you'll be happy to know I took uh, I took a half hour and unblocked all of your 1,280 accounts on, <laughs> on the channel. That's it. Yeah, Dave, good morning, boss. Says, Rosie does baked goods. I do the meats. Yeah, the boss is a uh, boss. Is, no, I'm not getting formal, Joe. The boss does all of the, uh, all of the really good uh, uh, smoking and uh, also processing fish and all that. Yeah, I'm lucky. I got an invite to uh, to uh, Debbie's uh, Kitty Cat Club. All right, Jen, what'd you think? Huh? It's the most delicious mudslide. Mudslide. This isn't something Corey drinks. This is this is a chocolate pie. Chocolate pie huh? I've ever had. Mm. Yeah, if you have, uh, if you do, uh, right if you do have a, uh, a chat stream, just put it in the side. Let people know, uh, Debbie, what your chat stream is and uh, all that. <laughs> I enjoyed being. I got an invitation from uh, Tracy and uh, Deb to be on, and we had such a great time. I'm a visit Tracy in Chicago. We're going to raise some hell. I did. I did, Joseph. Joe. Jeez. I did, Joe. It's just it's just startling to me how beautiful a uh, place Western Australia is there. Some of the architecture and the wonderful, uh, wonderful buildings. Yeah, I left you a, uh, uh, a message on that, so... Wow, freezing in London with nonstop rain. I'm ready, boss. I am ready any time to go back out for uh, cod. I need that. <laughs> Scottish says I have a rock star lifestyle. <laughs> oh, buddy, you're in Chicago. I have to check it out. I'm sub to you. I'll clean up the fishing bucket. Don't worry, but let's make sure we take all the gear with this boss. I don't want to be light on cod rigs again. Mm, this is really delicious. Thank mm. you. <laughs> this is a hell of a pie. Yeah. So, this is really a hell of a pie. Thank you, Anna. You know who made that stickers? Boyd Stickers made that uh, yeah, trailer. That trailer from, is awesome. Yeah, we worked on it's that for about. Uh, no, I got plenty of cod rigs, boss. But and I want to tell you, um, you know, when Stickers was doing his uh, funding, 
I said, you know, I want to, I, I want to hell with that. I said, I want to hire you. Man. <laughs> I don't want to, I don't, don't hate me. I don't want to donate anything, but I want to hire you. <clears throat> so he was kind enough to, uh, we, we uh, contracted to uh, do that trailer for me. And we went back, he worked, he worked a month on that back and forth. We went back and forth. He did about eight, eight, eight variations of that. In November, we'll be cold and may, may be raining. Well, we'll be getting it. Yeah, Stickers does great work. I mean, he's a fantastically talented guy. All credit to Stickers on that. <laughs> Poopy. Hey, Kathy, good morning. Kathy's Vintage TV. Do you drink black coffee? Yeah, it's got just a drizzle of uh, cream in it. Boy, this is some kind of rich pie, though. Yeah, I got something for you, too, Coop. <laughs> yeah. Ellie, I think Ellie was so ragged out from the... Uh, previous 24 hours before last night i think you just crashed <laughs> it went out yeah and i wish i could give you a taste of it honey really turned out good no i'm not gonna wear i never wear a bikini summer or winter if I fall in the water with the silver bikini, it's going to look like a fishing lure and some big ass great white shark is going to look like a damn salmon and some great white shark. Bonnie says, what this chimp app means, it means that you just start going crazy and uh, on video and uh, screaming and hollering and cursing and uh, blowing your cool. That's what chimping app means. So I think for the, uh, for the boy, we'll develop a, uh, Chocolate chimp out cookie or something in, in honor of chimping out. Yeah, have you ever seen a chimp anise go nuts? Yeah. And that's that's what the term comes from, chimping out. To my knowledge, either D-Beggar Scum or Tucker was the first one to come up with uh, chimping out. <clears throat> Who had the chimp with the cigar with the... That was a Tucker Poon, I think. Yes, I think Tucker yep. came up with that. Somebody can correct me. I know, Debbie, I feel awful of eating this in front of you, not... <laughs> Mm. Well, all I can say is it was really delicious, but uh, you can only have one piece, and that's it. Yeah, I don't want to see the chimps jack off, boss. Thank you. Two shark attacks over east. Oh, well. Yesterday. Goodbye, Scottish. Nice to see you, honey. Goodbye, I'm very Scottish. Honored you came by. Have a great. Uh, let's see. Are you in Scotland? I'm in Scotland. Well, then you have yeah. a good evening. Yeah. Have a good evening. Have it's really cold over here. Yeah, someone keeps chimping. Yeah, well, I had birds chimping last night. <laughs> mm. Man, you know what makes that good? Once in a while, you hit one of those pecans from the top. And you get that salty caramel pecan. Yes, yeah, it's got the, I mean, it's amazing. the salty flavor to it. Second pet aisle. I hope you enter your pet marks. Okay. All right. I'll do that. That sounds good. Oh, man. We got to take this thickness. Jen, you going to take this or what? 10 inches. <laughs> what was that? 10 inches. Oh, Damn thing exploded. Got a nice, uh, cr not got a nice crispy. Okay, take care, uh, Nocturnal. Thanks for coming by. <laughs> yeah, tell people how you enter the pet idol. Harvey's freezing his nuts off. Yeah, it's. Uh, <clears throat> I can't believe you got that cold. 
in uh, September over there. It switches <laughs> up there real fast. 10 inches is for amateurs. That's funny. Okay, working at the details. Yeah. Okay, we got some pets. We got some semi-adopted. We got like a a pet we should call Eddie Haskell because he's like the neighbor that's always hanging around over here. I sent I sent Domino home last night. Yeah, I had really had cream on my tits. And that's right. He was here this morning already at the door. Yeah, that'll be fun, Pam. But I think he's he's went home. What went home now? Yeah, I think we've got sort of an adopted one. Yeah, a bit like the Boyd on occasion, too. Well, Kathy, I think you can have maybe a virtual pet, too. So maybe Pam will allow virtual pets into that, which would be kind of fun. Yeah, try to do some try to do some tricks. Well, I'm going to grab some coffee and sit and chat with you all a bit, and then we'll wrap it up. We'll be hanging out to about 10 more, 15 more minutes. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Yeah, throw an hot dog down the hallway with a pack of dogs. In. <laughs> yeah, uh, Michelle, thank you, honey. I got your messages and your uh, comments. Um yeah, thank you. It's not a difficult one to make at all. Actually, on a scale of one to ten, it's about a four. Well, that's what that's what makes it amazing. Is it's either it, it's very easy to um, very easy to make, especially if you have a good, uh, especially if you have a good food process, any kind of food processor. I used to take those graham crackers and. I take a plastic bag, right, Jen, with a rolling pin and break up those graham crackers into fine crumbs to use, like on cheesecake bottoms and stuff. Allie's got me doing stuff with the food processor now. And you just jam those crackers in with some butter and some uh, a little bit of cream in there, swirl it, and you've got your stuff ready to go out in the bottom of your pan. You just pour it into your pan and your pie plate and just work that around and you get a nice, beautiful crust. Perfect. Saves a lot of time, too. Yeah, it's about a four, Michelle. It's not difficult to make. Oh, my God, these inches. <laughs> Oh, man. Oh, geez. Is that all you got? Yeah, so I'm going to be interested to see what Pam puts together for that uh, for that thing. A lot of people have a lot of pets on here. So A four is very easy, Susie. Yes, a four is, is uh, easy to moderate difficulty. Yep. Hey Ellie, how are you? Nice to see you. I would I would rate this as one of the easiest pies that you could make and one of the tastiest pies that you can yes, make too. For sure. And I'm gonna tell you one more time. Any recipe that calls for nuts, I would always roast them, or like Ellie says, you can get a sheet pan and put them in the oven a little bit on a sheet pan, but watch them very closely. Hi Holly. Hi Holly, because they will they will burn. Or you can take a skillet like I did, a, uh, a pan, frying pan, skillet, put a little bit of butter in, put the nuts in, put a little sugar, a little salt on, and let that caram caramelize a bit. And it's just the intensity of the pecan, Missy Jen, what do you think? It's amazing, the intensity. When you bite into one of those uh, pecans, in <clears> the <throat> yeah. oven, it's like an explosion of salt and sweetness and that yeah 350 degrees for eight to nine minutes <laughs> and you have a very very delicious nut that's going to intensify yeah it's like a patch it's it's like that like mm. now people always say oh you know janet came in last night she's like oh geez you only ever use pecans well the pecan is the nut of the south okay let's be realistic about it okay 
But we will do something with uh, we will do something with uh, we will do something with uh, walnuts. I have made peanut brittle before. Yeah, Kathy's like Rosie Flay. That's too funny, uh, Kathy. Or uh, who was that? Uh, who's that peppy little cute one that got Rachel Ray? Rachel Rosie, huh? Rachel Ray cooking. <clears throat> Susie, you like pecans? So do I. I just think pecans are a very flavorful nut. Yeah, I got your message, Susie. We'll see you in a couple weeks. You have a good one. I've always told... Uh, okay, let's see somebody has gone to Oregon. Yeah, I always told uh, Allie that she should be doing some cookies. Hey, Glenn, good morning to you. Go so fast. Yeah, bags of pecans. Domino, what are you doing, huh? There's Domino. He's like the Eddie Haskell from Maybe Leave It to Beaver. What are you doing, huh? Did you go home? What are you back. doing, huh? What are you doing? Come here. What are you doing, huh? Come on. Go home Domino. Come here. Come, go home come, come, back. come here. Get over here. Come on. Come on. What are you doing? Did you say hi to everybody out there today, huh? Did you say hi to everybody? Oh, Domino is so cute. The amazing. This is Cooper's Wonder Dog, right? I'm doing a video, and all of a sudden, Cooper's looking in the background. There is a damn dog up on the <laughs> up on the fence. This dog can scale a six foot uh, fence and balance mm. on the top. So, so he uh, jumps the fence. What are you doing today? Are you bad boy? Huh? He are you keeps bad going boy? back and forth, back and forth. Are you bad boy? Five oh, glad. I got plenty of people with wrenches. Oh, Pam should have a damn wrench because. She has live streams. Hold on a minute. There we go. I thought I wrenched you up last night, Pam. There you go. So Pam's a mod too. If you have a live stream, if you host a live stream, then you hold a wrench in the mm -hmm. chat here. So because the people that host live streams understand, mm -hmm. uh, you know, they can kind of tailor to the individual host and not just randomly take people out. Uh, yeah, Domino's a cutie pie, isn't he? I'm gonna mm -hmm. grab a cup of coffee for, and we'll chat for a bit, and then we'll wrap it up. And he loves his belly rubs. He comes, he lays down, and he wants his belly rubs. Because Missy Jen has an agenda planned out for me today. She's like, Rosie, you did such a good job on that pantry last week. Now we're gonna get, we're gonna gut the kitchen today, and you can clean up the whole damn kitchen you already did clean up the kitchen no i didn't i didn't clean up the counters i didn't mm -hmm. reorganize all the all the cookware any of that missy jen's always got the program carlos martinez latino heat there we go bringing the heat hey becca good morning to you sweetie mm -hmm. nice to see you do kids come around for trick or treat? They do. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we, thank you, Holly. Had, That's kind of you, Holly. Last thank year you. we had uh, eighteen kids. Not much last year. It was a very light year. And the year before we had ten kids. Uh, yeah, last year was the fire year. I should have. So a lot of people have lost their homes. So but still we had 18 kids. It, it wasn't much and now. I'm not gonna be the additional candy. I'm gonna get my infusion on Wednesday, that Wednesday probably. And trick or treat is on that Saturday. So I probably will be taking a nap. Hey Sheriff, Sheriff. Sheriff of the Sheriff Tux, Tucker's mother. <laughs> Holy moly. 
Yeah, they're, they're still trying to rebuild some homes. And uh, I'm not sure. I think they had like 300 homes in the uh, coffee park where it, it burned down. Let's see how many homes burned down in coffee park. 1,200 1, homes burned down in coffee park, and I think 357 people applied for re rebuilding. Yeah, 6,000 homes burned. There's only been about 400 building permits pulled so far. And uh, there are a few bit people that are now actually going to be building up there in Fountain Grove and and they are going to use new materials fireproof there's nothing fireproof goes you guys this storm this firestorm proof with 80 mile an hour winds driving uh fire there's nothing they got there's a company that come in now and they got fireproof supposedly fireproof wall material and window material and whatnot all kinds of stuff. And yeah, Tracy, I'm not. I'm not much for private talk. I'm like the world's worst email person. I couldn't even get my shit straightened out for Pam's chat to go up on the porch till like the last friggin' hour. <laughs> Shoot this shit. I'm like, how come I'm nobody? She doesn't see me on the side. And I know she's turning over to Ricky and saying, "God damn, what a dummy," you know. <laughs> <laughs> it was a terrible firestorm. Uh, you can go see my playlist down below the Great Santa Rosa fire. You can see us touring some of the neighborhoods. The uh, main video was nominated to the London International Film Festival under short documentary. I was very pleased to have that uh, nominated for inclusion into uh, the London International film festival just to be uh, just to be accepted they only accept uh i think about uh 10 short documentaries from around the <clears> world so that was one of them that uh went in problem is a lot of people are not getting enough money from the insurance to rebuild so i'm saying tracy i'm not much for for uh you can dm me yeah i mean i'm on twitter at Rosie O'Kelly one. Hey Farah. Hey Farah McCormick, nice to see you. What type of guys do you like? Nice guys, I guess that would be it, huh? Nice guys and gals. Nice guys and gals. I like uh doesn't matter to me. You look a you look at a guy like uh uh yeah, I'm really holding that coffee pretty steady. Hey Tommy boy. You like guys like Joshy Bingham, big boys, you know, tall guys, and I like funny short guys. It just depends. It's it's all so much personality driven. Joshy Bingham's like hogging a like a Grizzly Adams and stuff. He's really a sweetheart. You got Cooper, who's like uh, you got Coop Coop, who's like a GQ model, you know. I was all up on that, you know. <laughs> <laughs> no, Glenn, they don't have to have a big. <laughs> oh, my Lord. I don't do, I learned my lesson on Twitter. I always blew myself out of the Twitter sphere the first uh, week, right, Missy Jan? I'm like uh, blasting public links yeah. and stuff to hang out. So the, no. the link runs all <laughs> across the globe. I'm giving out links and publicly blasting. I got no idea what's going on. That mud pie turned out, Carlos. Thank you. It was beautiful. Some mud pie bikini wrestling tonight. Well, our next big trip is coming up in about oh, three weeks or so. We're going to be making our way down to San Diego for our annual one week of fun in the sun down there. So we're going to have a good time. Plenty of beach time. We'll head down to the Mexico border. 
have a little bit of fun. If we feel gamey enough, we might go over to Tijuana. So we'll see. We went over to Al Gadondez when we were in um, in Yuma, Arizona. Hi, Tara. Carlos, I mean, she's coming so fast. Yeah. There's Tara. Bro. Okay, uh, Tracy, no problem. No problem. Oh, look who's back, huh? Are you back, Jack? Come, come, get up here. Come here. Get up here. Come on. Get up here. Come here. Ah, what are you doing? What? What are you doing? What? Come on. Come on. Get up here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Get up here. Come on. Come on. Get up here. Come on. Come on. Get up here. What are you doing? Come on. Come on, Domino. What are you doing? Huh? Domino. What are you doing? Huh? What are you doing? Uh, uh, what are you doing, huh? What are you doing? He wants some pie. That's what he wants. He wants some pie. Don't you want some of that old pie? Yeah. You want some of that old pie? Hey, Tara. There you go. Know, he's looking like crazy there, huh? You say hi to everybody today, huh? Say hi to everybody today. Yeah. Coop's in love with Domino. It's a wonder lab, the 130 pound wonder lab. Domino, yo, fat boy, you ain't gonna be able to climb up that fence much more with uh, hunking all that weight. You know, you're eating too good over here all the time. Yes, you are, huh? Uh, yeah, Tara has a uh, Tara Electra. She's got quite a few channels on here. Uh, well, I have to say that's uh, that would be in the file. That Mississippi mud pie would be in my short list of 10, 10 top ten. You know, probably baked a hundred over a hundred times. That'd probably be one of the top ten pies, huh? Coconut cream pie, chocolate that, cream that pie. That's some for when yep. company comes over. You can serve that. Oh, I can't wait to come back too, Tracy. <laughs> I love that. I was honored y'all invited me on. Now I'm looking forward to the Kitty Cat Club. Yeah, we're going to go down to Slab City. I got some friends there. I got uh, Community Cause, C-O-Z. I yeah. sent him down some moonshine down there to kind of pave the way. I think I could probably uh, overnight my rig in his compound, no problem at all. And he would show me all around the slab and we'd have a good time and I'd have a good entree. Have There's a good a night, Joe. I love you. Yeah, good night, Joe. You take care. He is sleek and nice. Labs have such a great disposition. They do, but they're very hard to train. Uh, I may go to RTR this year. Bright and Bob Wells Day. Huh? Hi, Bob. <laughs> I have to get my Walmart bucket. I have to get my Home Depot bucket to crap in a bucket out in the desert there. Uh, yeah, I will alien. You know, I hang out with Cos and Alien on there. Causes morning streams. What's the newest style? I don't know. Um, so you, it's good to have somebody in the slab that you are. We used to know Cornelius, but she rolled one out of Cornelius. She's Campbell. Alaska, yes. Yeah. So it's nice to know. Yeah, Bob thinks he invented the van. That's right. So we do. It's nice to know some people when you go down there. Um, Somebody like Kaz, because Kaz is like the unofficial mayor of Slab City, so he can take you all around. Yeah, we're still going to Vegas the second Thursday through Sunday of uh, December. We're going to be staying downtown. Hi, Nita. Hi, Nita. Good morning to you. Nita's Minnesota family. Uh, You'll tell me, yes, Tracy says, hey, Rosie, you'll tell me, just tell me, just, you'll tell me the truth. Who decides who the wrenches are? The person who has the stream, right? That's correct. That's the correct. And one easy, uh, it's easy. If you have a chat stream and I'm in your chat stream, hello over yonder, then you're a wrench holder in this chat. Okay, and that's, uh, you see, uh, Sid's Angel Debbie Davis, she runs chat streams. I've been on her chat. 
uh, will be on her chat again. So she holds a wrench. Carl the Cuck has been rolling with me for a long time. Uh, Cooper has the chats. Ellie's like the doyen of chat room. She's been with me since 2013. Okay, a long time. Uh, no, Glenn, I'm not going to make you a mod if I tipped you 20. If you tip me 20, no. <laughs> Rent the same for Sam. <laughs> Shepherds are smart, that's right. Domino, what are you doing? You got to end huh? them. What are you doing? Huh? What are you doing? What are you doing? Huh? You back again for more? Uh, well, I'm just trying to explain. So you'll see, uh, you know, Pam from Shoot to Shit, she has a wrench. Yeah, there you go. Glenn slipped. Coop Twani and uh, he'll make me do it. That's it. Yeah, you've been with me a long time, Carlos. That's for sure. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, Tracy. Tracy can get a ranch. Yeah, she co-hosts the. Uh, she co-hosts the stream. All right. Well, Glenn, we'll go ahead and we'll just we'll make that contribution to <laughs> Alzheimer's research, okay? Uh, Tracy just has to post on the side again here. So, uh, <laughs> hey, Mouse Toes, nice to see you. Yeah, we need a fence doggy door because this this uh, this dog is going to hurt himself <laughs> jumping that fence gonna hurt himself jumping that fence that's for darn sure George what are you barking at huh what are you doing did you get that dog hi Kristen nice to see you. hey Kristen nice to see you yeah Carlos doesn't want the ranch he just wants it ranch George what are you yobbing about huh what are you yobbing about huh? you want some attention you want some attention I'll get your attention right here. There we go. There's George Yobbin right there. Thank you, Glenn. All right, there he is. There's Georgie. Georgie, did you say good morning to everybody on there? Huh? You say good morning? Hmm? Yobbin. Yeah, I think the wrenches understand because the uh, the wrenches run their own stream, so they understand. Yeah, I can sh uh, turn it around. I do have a video that extensively shows the uh, stereo collection. But you can see it up on the partial up on the wall. There is, I have a video that shows the whole massive collection. Describes everything on the, uh, describes everything on the wall. And I have a wall of directly in front of us that has a shelf. It's called the wall of amplitude for my amplifier. So. Yep, George, he's the best travel dog on the, on the boy. So, Glenn, I have just started doing repair and restoration work again. We're going to finish the 1968 Magnavox Astrosonic, and we're going to put that uh, into. Yeah, and I removed everybody from the ban list. So, thank you, Harvey. <laughs> thank you, Chris. That's just a partial what I have here. So uh, besides this, this is my this is my pride and joy. And at Christmas time, we do videos featuring this 1961 Motorola 22 21 tube stereo console with uh, three channels. It has a left channel, a right channel, and the center channel is just a dedicated bass channel. Three channels. Thing sounds amazing. So we feature this at Christmas time. We'll get the Andy Williams music out. We get the Christmas tree next to it. Yeah, that's cool. Glenn says, I used to collect old phones from the 30s, 40s, 30s, and 40s. That's cool. Yeah, side chat slut says, I love watching Georgie on the road trip licking the windows. Yeah, he loves being on the window licker, didn't you, Georgie? Yeah, there. you know why? Because the window is nice and cold in the morning. He'd get out there and love that window. He was licking window yesterday. We were around. Yeah, so this is this is uh, you can watch the video where we where I went and uh, rescued this unit. 
and there's another video with uh, rescuing the uh, Magnavox Astrosonic. If you look at my vintage audio playlist, it's called Vintage Audio Rescue. And you can see going to people's houses. And hi, Wendy. Up. Wendy, hi, sweetie. You can see going to this, uh, going to people's houses and rescuing these units. And then this was a, this was a like a 20 part restoration project here. And I have to say, it sounds pretty damn nice here in the, uh, in the living room. That's a great you know, sound to it, yeah. Needs a good antenna for FM to be uh, to be hooked up in there. Yeah, and some of this stuff is very early stereo, very experimental stuff. Very, hi, memes. So hi, nice memes. to see Mimi. Nice to see you, sweet tea. You know, I have a unit here that's made by Fisher. This design for early broadcast stereo. Oh, thank you, Ann. I said the best part of your chat, Rose, is you're so laid back and recognize you. I can't think. I probably have the lowest number of people bounced out of my chats of, of any chat streams, right? Because my the wrench holders in my chat understand that I have a lot of bounce to the ounce. I mean, I don't freak out about uh, things. So, I mean, I think uh, Carlos is kind of uh, is funny. I don't have any ham radios, but there's a radio I'll show you up here. This one right here. This is a Fisher 800B. And what's unusual about that is in the old days, and I'll, uh, there's videos on it that I have in the collection. But in the old days, before true stereo broadcast, you would that thing has two dials on it one is am and one is fm and if you were going to listen to a concert the am station would broadcast one channel and the you tune in an fm station and it would put those two signals together am and fm and create a synthet synthesized stereo uh experience so it's some interesting stuff so there'll be a lot of uh, videos coming out where we've got more restoration projects that are underway. Yeah, <laughs> Carl says, I would never troll. Uh-huh, uh-huh, Carl, mm-hmm. I think at one time I peaked out at about 120, 115, 120. Jan, I remember there were just boxes stacked up um, four or five feet high in there in the workshop which is cartons of of shit to be fixed yeah in there you all need to send more stuff in because <clears throat> repair season is kicking in well, kicking we up got, again. we got plenty of projects right now trust me so it's all good yeah the granger catalogs thank you carl yes yeah, it's a sort of multiplex receiver oh, that's cool beck and nice to hear that Good morning, Miss Demeanor, and uh, Becca, hey, I hope you're feeling Demeanor. okay today. I enjoyed watching your uh, makeup video yesterday. Watched that very early this morning. Trolls look like the big ogre from the swamp, the swamp, the ogre. What was his name? Which one? The one from the... Uh, the creature from the Black Lagoon? No, the swamp guy. The swamp oh. thing? The cartoon guy. No, Ali, I don't fix. I just fix them as a as a uh, hobby. When a lot of the uh, <clears throat> when a lot of the uh, vintage television and radio shops closed down because they, you know, there was no more business. I would uh, I would buy out their inventory of old parts and and uh, have an enormous collection of. Uh, Original stock material. Shrek, here. yeah, that's yeah, the Shrek, one. that's it. Get out of me, swamp! This is me, swamp. Yeah, I'm saying Rose Station. Yeah, the Macintosh. Yeah, mm -hmm. Macintosh is expensive. Way too expensive for me. <laughs> I didn't really watch. Uh, didn't really watch any of Dave's uh, stuff. I mean, I was on. Um, I was I on uh, Awesome time. Hookers Hangout, and I just uh, uh, no, I can't. I just couldn't co-sign on to that uh, stuff. 
not that I would ever bash somebody, but I just, I cannot, I can't be a part of that kind of uh, stuff. And I think I made that quite clear on uh, Awesome Hookers hanging out with Cooper and Greg and everybody else the other night. You ran out of coffee and you're too lazy to go to the store. I did have an Apple IIe way back in, uh, way back in the late 80s. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, and I and I, uh, I told Dave, there's just no, <clears throat> you know, I'm not gonna, I'm not one to uh, bash people or do hateful stuff. I just say, I just, uh, this stuff is just way off the, way off the reservation, and I just, I don't want to be a part of it. And it's just, it's not, uh, it's not cool. So. Yeah, how Ted Tracy's like Ted, Tracy wants a Tracy wants a one night pass to hang out with the boys in the boom boom. Yeah, what happens in the boom boom room stays in the boom boom room, depending on who's in the boom boom. No, room. Susie, I just I'm not on YouTube for that kind of stuff. You know, I get enough. Uh, not not a lot. There's a core of people that dislike me, and I don't need to uh ramp that any you know i've already been through the mill before so it's just not the kind of thing mm -hmm. i enjoyed uh hanging with dave when we weren't talking about that kind of stuff i had a you know talking about fishing and uh travel and that kind of stuff hey punky but i don't sit on live streams where people are tearing each other up and stuff it's not my not my thing at all hey gina smith hi gina Gina in the house. Yeah, Rizzo. Mojo. I'm glad that, uh, hey, Hippie Peace, nice to see you. I'm glad Vinny came back yesterday. It's all about Evidently. love and peace and tranquility. Yeah, I'm here, I'm here for fun, not to. Not about hate and stuff. Well, there's some people that uh, don't like what I wear, my bikinis and things, but I say on, on YouTube, you have to be, you have the right to be who you are. <laughs> There's other people say you turn your back on your friends. Actually, my friends are the same ones that have been with me since the beginning. The Nicoles, the Francis's, the Debbie Lynn's. The, hey, Uber, Google Life. Hey, Uber. I'm very proud of that. <laughs> it's the same core of friends that I've always had, Shay. Yeah, we, once in a while we have our problems. But anybody that says you're not loyal to friends and stuff, nonsense. Corey's my friend since way back when. You know, so, so I'm very happy about that, actually. Yeah, not tearing each other down. I'm not going to participate in that kind of stuff. I'm not one to dish out crap to people, so. And Alexis, they have no basis for blaming that, and you know that. That's the bottom line. So anything that they uh, say is configured in their own mind. So it's just transference, that's all. So I don't I don't play along with that. I do my own thing. I stand on my own merits of being a kind person in chats and being helpful in life. So I got enough of my plate with my uh, Anna. You don't have to warn me to watch my channel. My channel is just fine. I already walk. I already work with YouTube as it is. How do you think I brought my channel back? Okay. How do you think I brought my channel back, Anna? Yeah, so I'm saying I don't go through life worried about things. Yeah, you don't. There's, there's this transference because there's a core of people that don't like you, and then they take this new opportunity to try to transfer that. No, I don't. I don't go. I don't play that. That pie turned out great. Each person stands on their own merits. That's right. Everyone's responsible for their own behavior. 100% correct. So, thank you, Gina. I'm not participating in the hate fest. Yeah, I'd love to have a laugh, too. I don't get involved with this stuff that's all hateful. Thank you, Chris. Yeah, I watch whom I like. I chat with the people if they hang out. I'm not chatting with people that it turns into a into a full on hate fest. Uh, 
Yeah, we're all, we've got to be responsible for our own behavior. That's right. Torture, murder, you, exactly. Yeah, I'm saying, Anna, I don't lose any sleep over, you know, it's it should be obvious to everybody that uh, I understand my way around YouTube, and I also have the ear of YouTube when some of this crazy stuff goes on. And, uh, yeah, but I'm not one that's going to be out there bashing. Or you'll never find a video where, um, okay, take care, Susie. <clears throat> where I'm laying somebody out or cursing, maybe back in 2015 with uh, one or two meltdowns, but that was the that was it. I have all my friends that I had when I started on uh, Hangouts and, and on YouTube back in 2013. <clears throat> and I'm proud of that. I got some great friends. And I enjoy being myself. I enjoy wearing what I want to wear. And it's all within the uh, allowed rules of YouTube. Thank you, Chris. <clears throat> Be a positive person. Thank you, Uber. I feel pretty good about myself. I feel pretty good about Jen. Uh, my my dad's on his way out. He probably won't be around but another week or two. I got a lot on my plate. I just don't come on here and dump it out. Yeah, I have a lot of new people to care and a lot of very friendly people. I got a lot on my, thank you, hippie piece. I got a lot on my plate. There are some people that are trans haters that have been trans haters long before Dave ever came on the scene. Trust me. So, but I still deal with respect for those people. <clears throat> I'm still friendly by nature. So I don't let it get me down. Yeah, me too, Wendy. Thank you. I met Uber Goober lady. She's been awesome. <clears throat> so I don't, I don't have any complaints on YouTube at all. I've been through the mill of the family, everything. I'm just glad at age 60 that I just run my own show. Yeah, we got we got kooky people running around putting people on terrible websites. Yeah, yeah, my dad's going to be 89 years old, so you know, live forever, but he's been a significant part of my life. But haters don't care about that kind of stuff. So, they don't care about that. The good things that you do and uh, all that. Thank you, Fitz. Yeah, I'm 60. <laughs> I am. So there's not a lot I worry about in life anymore. You know, I keep my I keep my eye on the important things in life. <clears throat> Thank you, Vincent. Yeah, you buried uh, buried two wives with cancer. So, good morning, Tom. Tom, hope your showing went well. Tom, Tom, selling a house. Thank you, Debbie. Yeah, thank you, Jack Thompson. Nice to see you. Hey, Jack. Voodoo, you're not stepping away, my friend. You did nothing wrong, okay? Voodoo, you're very loved around here. <clears throat> yeah, Uber, I'm very happy. I've got a lot of great friends on me. I've never in all the years I've been on YouTube, which has been many, I've always dealt with the stuff that comes my way, and uh, I, with a smile on my face. Yeah. Yeah, Voodoo's the man. Voodoo ain't going anywhere. I love Voodoo. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Voodoo is one of the legitimate freaking heroes here on YouTube. Are you kidding me? I'm going to have this guy's back like there's no tomorrow till the end of time. No way. Voodoo's voodoo. Nobody mess with me, Je Je Jessica. I'm just saying. I don't. Um, uh, <clears throat> um, I don't know. I don't understand what that said. 
Yeah, love all people. That's right. <laughs> Thank you, Mimi's like shocked. <laughs> uh, yeah. Thank you, Uber Google Lady. You have a great day too. I mean, you think of uh, people that come on YouTube and scam money from people, and uh, <clears throat> yeah, we love you, Voodoo. And uh, then I like to consider myself on the giving side. Of uh, we don't toot about it, but Missy J and I have been very generous to people on. Uh, on YouTube too. Yeah, we yeah. we give silently here and there. Yeah, I'm just saying, but we and we recognize that it, it's like Elvis. You got to work for yourself. You know, I'm not. Uh, I think about fifty full time, Glenn. So, like I say, if you guys know me, nothing gets me down. Okay, just go forward and be positive. <laughs> You're always going to have a small core of people that aren't going to be happy because A, they bring their prejudices with them, B, they get misinformation, or C, they just plain don't dislike you. So none of those things are going to change. So why would you ever engage in battling that? You let people see with their own eyes how people are. <laughs> Wendy. <laughs> uh, thank you, Gina. We're just living life. I got bigger fish to fry. Yeah. I've got uh, Missy Jen's next round of infusions coming up. I got to figure out some stuff with my uh, dad on the uh, on the East Coast. Um, so I got a lot on my plate. So I don't need any of the other things. When you come on YouTube as many years as I have and show yourself and have hangouts, people can be a pretty good judge over time of the type of person that you are. And we all stand on that. We know Elvis is a, is an e-beggar, so people make their decision about that stuff. We know, uh, we know that some people get riled up with, uh, with hate. And mess with people's families and uh, and jobs. And for me, in my age, it doesn't matter. I mean, I'm I'm done with all that. But I feel sorry for the younger people that have that stuff. <laughs> uh, no, I don't think Ann Alexis is Dave's enemy either. You know. I just do my own thing. I, I move away from that stuff. I don't enjoy being a party to that stuff. <laughs> yeah, that's true, Lars. Not just YouTube. Look at the world today. Exactly. <clears throat> yeah. So I don't lose sleep at night. You just got to get up in, every day and put one foot in front of the other. That's what you got to do. It's all about being real and an authentic person on here. <clears throat> and that's what you do. Right? Yeah, I know they are, Carl. People are very overpaid down there. Hey, Ash, nice to see you, sweetie. To each their own. That's right, Anna. If you engage in that stuff, if you engage in that stuff, uh, then you get what you get. Rose is still working for Dave Fox. She's using eBaker's sticks to record people. I don't even know what that means. I haven't been in a hangout with eBaker's and uh, stickers. So right. Whatever that means. Somebody's got... The I don't know. Five, information. five and a half years. I don't think I've ever released a recording of anything. <laughs> Nobody's got the recordings in this house. I don't think any. Nothing ever been recorded here of anybody. You know? We don't run an intelligence service here. That <laughs> there were many others that used to do that and probably still do that, but they are like more towards the west of here 
Yeah, I'm not. I'm not engaging in that, uh, Debbie Davis. That's for damn sure. <laughs> Life is too uh, short for BS. Yes, I have. Uh, I have a couple of Marantz's, uh, uh Vincent. Yeah. Well, I don't think. Yeah, I'm in the. Yeah, I've been in the boomish room, and I don't. You know, if you've got screenshots of me in the boomish room, there's nothing I said in the boomish room that uh, let them roll, man. Put the screenshots out. Never in private or public chats have I said one thing that I've ever been uh, ashamed of if it was ever released public. So, go for it. Lay it out there, baby. I don't have any MCs there. Let's see. I have one. I think I have two. I have three Marantzes here. Yeah, <clears throat> that's why I'm always super careful about what I say in public and in private. Okay, Harvey, take care. All right, have a good night, Harvey. Love you. Yes. Yeah. Okay, Holly, you take you care. You rock. You rock, Harvey. Yeah, people are very people are paid very high wages in San Francisco because it's a very expensive place to live. So you, you do have street cleaners that are paid a hundred thousand bucks to clean up crap on the yeah, street. Yeah, they were doing a count yeah. on the around one one of uh, one specific block. Now remember, it's not all of San Francisco. It's a place called the Tenderloin. The rest of San Francisco, uh, the Castro, and other places, they're incredibly beautiful down there you're not going to see they all gravitate in a place where they get fed where they get services where the police don't harass them and all that so yeah yeah but it's a very confined it's a very small it's a very small area jen will tell you it's an astoundingly beautiful uh city though to go around you have the chinatown you have the uh north beach yeah our utilities raise you know why there's so many homeless in san francisco because they provide the services to them it's like a bee to flowers if you're providing uh pollen they're gonna come doing good ass that pie was delicious. That and then pie, my was, pie absolutely was absolutely awesome. delicious. Absolutely delicious. I had one piece and now I'm working on my second cup of coffee. It's yeah. great. We're going to get ready to uh, close down. I've got a gut. I might live stream the kitchen. Yeah, cleaning I got to get Rosa to do some work here. I got some work today. It's like I'm already like shivering my timbers. So we're like wasting. Daylight, yeah, we're burning daylight. <laughs> That's exactly right. I've always got something to do around here, so I'm going to uh, set up the big table. Work today. And we're going to clean off the counters. We're going to reseal the granite on the counters today and uh, do that. Yeah, Carl. So, you know, um, San Francisco is one of the beautiful cities of America. But they do have one place that's called the Tenderloin there, which is a which is a magnet for homeless. And uh, yeah, Glenn, I have lots of videos up about making bread, <laughs> the, uh, the baguettes and other things. You can check them out. Uh, but otherwise, uh, you can see the video, uh, San Francisco, a cinematic experience that we took terror down. I don't know, Beautiful. buddy. Tommy boy, <laughs> yep. Autumn is here. Cracking the whip, baby. Yeah, it's beautiful in a lot right. of places, and it's ugly, too. Okay, take care, Aunt Alexis. Nice to see you. And, honey, don't let anything bother you on YouTube, okay? That's the bottom line. <clears throat> Burning daylight. All right, guys, thanks for being along today. I had a great time. Mm, thanks for checking out the pie and thank you glenn for the 10 spot we're going to turn around and we're going to pop that into all uh, old timers research thank you very much
Bye, Ash. Take care. Thank you, everybody. Hugs and love and kisses mm -hmm. to all of us.